Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Richard Cole. This is Amari Music Talk. And today I'm going to make a few announcements about the channel, uh, what to expect. I know it wasn't that long ago uh, when I did the last announcement video. Um, but, you know, doing these type of things, you know, there's you know a lot of things that you learn what works what doesn't work um, you change you grow you evolve and you know I you know I'm really grateful for the growth um, it's kind of weird because you know going back a little about four years maybe a little over four years uh, when I started the Amari Purple Talk podcast uh, originally it was you know on podcast networks and they were all you know audio only and you know part of the one network that I was with which was a uh, Libsyn or liberated syndication um, you know they would put your episode on to YouTube as part of you know as part of the plan that I had and you know, while the numbers for the podcast were really, really great, um, the YouTube numbers, it took a good long while for those numbers to build. It took like about three years um, to get it going. So by season four, you know, I really wanted to focus more on growing the YouTube side of it. And, you know, it was met with some, you know, some success. Uh, some episodes did better than others, uh, but that's the nature of YouTube anyway, you know. There's episodes where I thought, this is the best episode ever, and nobody would watch it. Um, and then there's episodes where it's just like, okay, I'm, you know, I, I've got nothing, I've got nothing this week. And then, you know, those numbers would be through the roof. But that's, you know, that's just how YouTube works, folks. But... Within the last year, especially with season four, it was slowly transitioning from an audio only to doing more video. And I found that I enjoyed doing the video more. Um, you know, I still like doing the audio pod podcast, um, but I think just as time went on and as the YouTube stuff was growing, trying to find a way to make the audio portion more interesting became more of a challenge so with season four like i said just kind of made the transition uh to doing more video having guests on it which was something that i've always wanted to do from the very beginning of amari purple talk um but yeah by season three um you know i felt good about like okay cool let me bring some people on and you know see how how that works and that's worked out very well um, but then in the middle of season four um, it got a little I think things in the Prince world got a little strange you know there's a lot of frustration there's a lot of you know haters started bubbling up you know it just didn't feel like it was fun anymore to do a Prince podcast um, but there was also an episode of Amari Purple Talk that I did about how, you know, you see these artists that are now cashing in, especially a lot of our legacy artists, um, where it was Bob Dylan getting $400 million for his publishing and rights to his music, and um, Bruce Springsteen selling out, and, you know, and then the numbers that they were getting for that $400 million. 500 million and then I would look at where the James Brown estate they've sold their stakes for like 90 million and I think Tina Turner at the time was 150 million and it, it really made me think about okay there's certain legacy artists of ours that some of them are cashing in and that's cool but what does that mean in the long run? Because I don't see the rush of material. 
like you know James Brown had a lot of material um, that since the 90s you know remastered reissued um, the Star Time box set uh, those things you know so it was pretty consistent and then even after his passing uh, there was a lot of interesting things the the singles sets um, those volumes I thought were pretty interesting but within the last few years there really hasn't been anything significant maybe some quiet reissues on vinyl uh, there was one live in Augusta where that was released as a vinyl and CD but really not much but I, I'm assuming some stuff is coming because I think they just cashed out within the last year or so the estate did and reaping the benefits of that but like I said it's nowhere near to the magnitude of when you hear about the Beatles getting a box you know dropping a new box set or something new you know the it seems like certain artists are being swept on swept under the rug and that's when I decided maybe not long after that to try to do a show that will put the spotlight on you know just groups that there are a lot of us that do have those long memories you know those first generation fans we were around in the 70s we were around in the 80s with a lot of artists heydays or you know even decades prior that you know again you know they're just as deserving of attention and they're just as deserving of podcasts or topics of podcasts you know as the Beatles or the Stones or Led Zeppelin or whoever you know and I don't see a lot of you know interest being placed on even Jimi Hendrix um, I'm sure they exist uh, but when the things that pop up on my personal timeline um, because I do enjoy listening to the Beatles and I do enjoy listening to different things you know just the level of attention it's not there or it, it doesn't seem to be as prominent in the feeds as much so that's when Amari Purple or excuse me Amari Music Talk sort of morphed out of the Amari Purple Talk and we began to focus like the episodes that we've done on uh, Cameo we've done three and considering where Amari Music Talk started to me it's like it's year one because I've really focused on that full time doing video and not an audio podcast so with the episodes that were done on cameo and the numbers for those you know I, would, I was happy you know it was kind of slow in the beginning because I would do you know a cameo episode say with PC Munoz and then the next week do you know go back to doing a Prince topic and of course the Prince topic would be way up here and then here's this cameo episode but it's like okay granted it was an album that wasn't as big as you know say cameosis or alligator woman or she's strange or word up you know but it was like come on there's got to be some cameo folks out there and then with the cameosis episode with Ricky Wyatt that started to get a little bit more attention uh, the four of my favorite funk bands I think that kind of set the ball rolling as far as letting everyone know okay this is going to be a different show so with all of that all of that said um, like I said I like the direction that that's taking and I know there's been more Prince content because we've been getting finally some Prince news um, that you know things are do are going well I'm happy with that so I'm ready to take this to the next level so today I am announcing that number one Amari Music Talk will continue and it will continue as a YouTube um, probably predominantly YouTube uh, there will be course if you become a patreon supporter early access to Amari music talk episodes along with probably special Amari music talk bonus content 
for Patreon exclusive content as well. So, and it'll continue, like I said, to focus on different bands. Um, I was reading an article about a band um, classic that has changed the face of, you know, hip hop, funk, that I want to give. Uh, do an episode, so it'll be one of the earliest episodes I'll do. So I can't wait to do that. But then, of course, more cameo, um, some print stuff here and there on that show. Uh, but it's going to focus on my broader interests in music, you know, beyond print. So it'll be more funk oriented. There'll be some rock, there'll be some jazz, there'll be some blues uh, topics. And, of course, become a Patreon supporter. If you have a topic, then, you know, by all means, you will have the power to suggest that. And that will become an episode as well. So, again, become a Patreon supporter. And also like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on YouTube to be notified of new episodes of Amari Music Talk. And that's going to bring me to the next announcement which is going to be the return of a prince centric podcast and that show is going to be called purple notes unveiled or actually the purple notes unveiled podcast and what i want to do with this show is it is going to be shot in video and it's going to return to the early format style of Amari Purple Talk meaning that there'll be a main topic uh, there will be a album spotlight um, it won't be a review like those will be special episodes so like say if I do um, a Purple Rain review then that will be a special episode or certain albums will be a patreon exclusive episode um, but you'll have like I said main topic uh, album spotlights um, associated acts spotlight so to kind of go back to that format oh and uh, Prince Estate wish list so that will be a topic as well so you have those different topics that will be in one complete episode of the Purple Notes Unveiled podcast. And again, it will be in video and that will air, the entire episode will air exclusively on Patreon. The audio portion will go to um, whatever podcast network I decide to go with. Uh, when it's ready to launch and so there'll be an audio version that will be on your favorite podcast platform the video version you have to become a patreon supporter to watch the episode but there will be certain segments uh, that I will edit that will be available on YouTube so you will see maybe one or two segments of that episode and if you want to see the whole episode or if you want more of the episode then become a patreon supporter and view <coughs> excuse me view that way with that so um i'm looking forward to that um i've already reached out to people that i've had on the show before um so depending on what you know what the topic is or what they might feel like being a part of so you'll see some co-hosts do both the Mari Music Talk and the Purple Notes Unveiled podcast or like I said if they're a Prince expert they'll be on the Purple Notes Unveiled podcast or if, you know me and one of the co-hosts say whether it's Ricky Wyatt, PC Munoz or you know former members of the band Chaotic Beat um, will come on and we'll talk about whatever album, it could be Parliament Funkadelic, it could be the Beatles, it could be Hendrix, it could be Frank Zappa, it could be 
anything and we'll talk about that as well and like I said get into some of the unsung heroes of our music as well so with that all down don't forget become a Patreon supporter like subscribe hit the notification bell this is serious this is out the box we ready to <laughs> shake up the world <laughs> That's what we're ready to do. So um, definitely want to grow the channel. Um, like I said, thank you all. Like I said, I'm loving what I've been seeing over the last few weeks. Um, and I'll try to continue to bring more quality. But like I said, if you become a Patreon supporter or, you know, if you go on my website, buy a WeFunk t-shirt, um, download either the entire funky bootleg funky poetic bootlegs um project or an individual track um you know i appreciate the support there or if you just stream any revenue that will help definitely improve the quality whether it's better equipment um you know maybe upgrade the computer who knows you know whatever it takes to grow the channel or put me in a position where I can do this a lot and do even broader programming um, there is a lot of there are a lot of projects that are you know by the time the episodes air uh, there'll be some projects that will be released into the wild uh, that I hope that you will support as well um, like I said you know it's not like a GoFundMe where it's like you're giving somebody money just because they just want to go take a trip to Tahiti you know or some weird you know medical scam or some bull like that you know this is an artist and it's like you're getting you should get quality product and that's the thing that I want to do moving forward is to like I said do better shows um, do more music do you know there's like I said a lot of projects I'll announce those when they're ready to drop too but other than that I just wanted to come on and announce two well, one brand new show and the return of the other show but better <laughs> so again like I say become a supporter like subscribe hit the notification bell and until then so if there's no more Prince announcements you won't see me do this show until I'm um, looking at late October going into November for the launch of both. So right now just kind of planning topics, keeping ear to the ground, like I said, reaching out to different co-hosts, um, still some more to reach out to. Um, so it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to, to bringing it. So until then, create your day and create your life. Peace.